oh my god what is going on did you know that your stress worry and fear can decrease your immune system olga job health and lifestyle here and today i want to talk to you about how your fear can decrease your immune system There's a lot of worry, stress, and fear happening right now in our world with, with what's going on. And today I wanted to take time to talk to you, to connect with you, to understand your feelings and my feelings and how that can actually decrease our health and decrease our immune system. I know that there's a lot of panic out there. People are going crazy. They're um, afraid of the future and what can uh, and what not happen in our life. So today I want to talk to you about your fear. First of all, I want to share with you um, this study. Here you can see an early 1980s psychologist and immunologist Glaser found the, that the student's immune system went down every year under the simple stress of three day exam period. Test takers had a few natural killer cells which fight tumors and viral infections. So this study shows us that when the students were stressed because of their exams, the research shows that their immune system actually went down. So knowing this in the back of our mind, we need to understand that, hey, yes, I do feel afraid, I do feel panic, I do feel stressed, but remember that that actually can affect your immune system. So it's crucial, it's important that we can feel at ease, that we feel relaxed, but it's difficult. It's easier said than done, right? In this image, you can see uh, the physical indications or the fight or flight response. Normally, when we're afraid, we can feel our pupils dilate or we're trembling or our heartbeat starts um, going faster and our breath starts going faster. The flight or fight response is actually a reaction that our body creates when it's always under stress and when it's, you know, right, ready to fight because the fight or flight response it's a simple reaction that the body creates, for example, if a dog is run running behind you or you're at danger. The body prepares to, to, to fight, to protect itself. But what happens is that day to day, even before what's going on right now, our bodies are constantly under stress. And what that means is that the fight or flight response is constantly under stress, under attack. Now, let's go deeper into the fight or flight response. The body has two nervous systems, the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. Homeostasis is the dynamic balance between the autonomic branches. Here you can see the difference between parasympathetic nervous system and the sympathetic nervous system. The rest and digest versus the fight or flight. As I spoke previously about, the fight or flight response is actively and constantly activated because we're under fear and what happens is that the body is not able to heal when it's constantly under stress the body heals better when it's in the parasympathetic nervous system but think about it isn't it when we're calm and we're connected and we're at peace the body can work better there's a doctor called dr herbert benson from harvard university that actually studied this um, sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system deal and what he says what he calls the relaxation response he's been able to show how people are able to heal from constant uh, diseases or, or constant issues that they have in their bodies through a uh, spontaneous remission so what are things that you can do and I that can help us to activate more of the parasympathetic nervous system to actually bring more balance into the nervous system. Think about things that can actually help you to relax, whether it's putting on music or going out for a walk or meditating, doing breath work, uh, reading, whatever helps you. And you have to identify what helps you to relax. 
do more of that. Take time once a day, five minutes a day, and activate that parasympathetic nervous system that you know in the back of your mind will help to protect you and heal you faster. There's a lot of other factors that will also help the immune system, like nutrition, mindset, and movement that I want and will talk to you about in my next session. I want to invite you to visit my website, www.olgajob.com. For my free blog, you can also find me on all the social media platforms, which you will find on my website. And if you're interested in any coaching programs, uh, please visit my site as well to check that out. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget, our job is to believe.